there are two main guidelines to be understood and to be considered mainly for the analytical method development and the analytical method validation those guidelines are provided by the or available from the ICH first guideline is ICH Q2 R2 and another one is ICH Q14 ICH guideline Q2 is for the analytical method validation and ICH Q14 is for the analytical method development always we should consider ICH guideline Q14 first for the development and then ICH Q2 for the method validation the analytical methods are required to be robust transferable specific accurate so that the products can be tested and the specifications of quality can be made i welcome all the viewers to this informative video this video is not only for the industry people it is also for the students it is also for the people who are working in different fields in the pharmaceuticals as a industry person whether you are working into the production quality control quality assurance regulatory affairs r and d we should know these two guidelines in detail because whenever you are going to develop the method whenever you are going to validate the method all the requirements of these two guidelines should be met starting with the introduction the ICH issues the guideline provides the guideline for the regulatory requirement and the, the framework for the analytical method development and the validation the guidelines are there to ensure that the methods are reliable the methods are reproducible and the methods are suitable for the testing and that's why these contribute to the drug quality safety and the regulatory compliance whenever you are developing the method you should know the ICH guideline Q14 whenever you are validating the method you should know ICH guideline Q2 now the ICH guideline Q2 purpose is to establish the documented evidence that an analytical procedure is suitable for its intended use it is reliable and reproducible as we know that validation is establishing a documented evidence that the system process works as per the requirement and it works consistently and reproducibly similar principle it is here for the analytical method development it is applicable to the identification tests quantitative tests limit test assays and many more ICH Q2 provides the validation parameters like accuracy, precision, specificity, linearity and range, yellow D, yellow Q, robustness, ruggedness. Whenever you are developing the method, validating the method, you should always remember these key parameters. Accuracy means the closeness to the true value. Precision is repeatability of the results. Specificity means ability to measure the analyte without interference. Linearity and range, it is direct proportionality 
एंड इंटरनल इज इट इज इंटरवल ऑफ द रिलायबिलिटी लिनियरिटी एंड रेंज इट इज अ डायरेक्ट प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी एंड इंटरवल ऑफ रिलायबिलिटी येलो डी एंड येलो क्यू इट इज द डिटेक्शन वर्सेस क्वांटिटेशन लिमिट्स येलो डी मीन्स लोएस्ट लिमिट ऑफ डिटेक्शन एंड येलो क्यू मीन्स लोएस्ट लिमिट ऑफ क्वांटिटेशन रोबस्टनेस इज द स्टेबिलिटी अगेंस्ट स्मॉल वेरिएशन रगडनेस मीन्स रिप्रोड्यूसिबिलिटी एक्रॉस लैब्स एनालिस्ट एंड द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स If these parameters are covered and validated, then you can show that, demonstrate that the analytical method is suitable, reliable, reproducible, and can be transferred. Q2 guideline updates are there. It expands to the biological and biotech products, integrates risk-based and life cycle approach, includes the modern analytical techniques. and it aligns with the ICH Q8 guideline which is for the pharmaceutical development and Q9 for the risk assessment and Q10 for the quality systems it covers the method transfer activities between the labs i will make a separate video on the analytical method transfer this video is for the development and validation ICH Q14 guideline the guideline related to the development of analytical methods its purpose is to provide framework for the systematic analytical procedure development like the q8 is for pharmaceutical development the q14 is for the analytical method development it ensures procedures meet the required performance characteristics it promotes science and risk based approach as the quality by design concept is there for the pharmaceutical product development same concept is related to the analytical method development as well we should always have the target of the analytical method what is the target of the analytical method whether you are try, trying to going to achieve the method for assay dissolution impurities chiral impurities and many more and based on that your development should start and development should be done now key concepts for the ichq14 first is atp it is analytical target profile it defines the purpose attributes and performance of the analytical method life cycle approach continuous development validation and monitoring of the analytical method then risk management identifies and mitigates risk in method development robust method design you can use tools like doe design of experiments for the development of analytical methods ichq14 benefits improved efficiency and reduced the development timelines enhanced method quality and robustness facilitates global regulatory submissions enables flexible post approval changes management as like in the formulations pharmaceutical products drug substances excipients some changes are required to be done after the approval similarly many of the times based on the changes in the formulation changes in the analytical methods are also required sometimes changes due to the advanced analytical techniques changes because of the product improvement are required sometimes changes due to the methods equipments instruments are required so that time ichq14 framework will give you the benefit <coughs> now coming to the relationship between q2 and q14 as we understood that q2 is for validation and q14 is for development so now what is the differences similarities and relationship between these two guidelines i said q2 is for validating validating the existing analytical procedures that is validation q14 is for development of the new analytical procedures so there is interconnection q14 development methods that meet the q2 validation knowledge gained during 
Q14 support the Q2 validation. Traditional versus enhanced approach that is Q14. So generally traditional approach was basic testing, established techniques and limited flexibility. ICH Q14 framework principles provide the enhanced QVD approach. It uses the risk management and DOE. It gives you greater robustness and regulatory flexibility and supports the real-time release testing. These are the important advantages of the application of the Q14 along with the Q2. Quality by design link is there for the development of analytical method. Quality is built into the product, not just tested. Similarly, it can be applied and should be applied to the analytical method development. Q2 and Q14 aligned with the QVD principles. It gives clear information about the objectives, then strong evidence and science-based method development, effective risk management and ensures consistent product quality and patient safety. Because whatever the activities are done in the pharmaceutical product development, pharmaceutical manufacturing, quality assurance, regulatory affairs, method development, quality control, everything it is to ensure that the products are safe with de defined efficacy and meet the quality requirements. Conclusion of the ICH Q2 and Q14. So Q2 is the updated framework for the validation. And Q14 is a structured approach for the development. Together, these two guidelines help you to ensure reliable, reproducible methods to get the methods and supports life cycle management of the procedures. It enhances the regulatory compliance for the global market. We need to understand these two guidelines we need to have clear information and understanding about these two guidelines now for your easy understanding i have made a table for the comparison of q2 versus q14 q2 focus on validation of the analytical procedures and q14 focus on the development of analytical procedures first will be development second will be validation Purpose of the Q2 is to prove method is fit for the intended use and purpose of the Q14 is to provide a framework for systematic method design. Approach for the ICH Q2 is traditional validation parameters like accuracy, precision, LOD, yellow Q and Q14. The approach is risk based and science based life cycle management. Scope of ICH Q2 is to it is applies to the Existing methods used for the identity, assay, impurity, and limit test, and many more. And ICH Q14 scope is that it applies to the new methods, chemical biotech methods through their life cycle, throughout their life cycle. Then, key elements of the ICH Q2 is accuracy, precision, specificity, linearity, range, LOD, yellow Q, robustness, ruggedness. And key elements of the ICH Q14 are the analytical target profile that is ATP, risk management, DOE, and the control strategy. Q2 life cycle concept incorporated in R2 revision. And Q14 central theme continuous monitoring and improvement. Outcome of Q2 is that it confirms method reliability and reproducibility. And Q14 ensures methods are robust, efficient, and validation ready. Regulatory benefit of ICH Q2 it demonstrates method reliability and reg reg regulators to the confidence that the methods are validated and methods are suitable. The Q14 has a regulatory benefit that it facilitates flexible regulatory submissions and post approval changes q2 and q14 are interconnected q2 validates method developed under q14 framework and q14 provides 
design foundation for q2 validation i suggest you to go through these two guidelines to understand this topic in much detail it will not only help you to understand the concept but also will help you to know about the weight of this topic and many of the times regulatory queries are based on the understanding of these two guidelines if these two guidelines are understood then you will know the exact requirements and whenever you are working on to this the on to these uh, activities or whenever you are performing these activities analytical method transfer analytical method development and analytical method validation you will enjoy your work i hope this video will help you to know the topic in detail if you have any questions and queries you can mail me you can comment i will try to answer thank you for watching the video